like the ghost, sniper action is rarely seen. They are not on the front lines, but they are the ones who make it difficult for the enemy and threaten safety. That's why in this video I give you 10 movies about snipers that are very interesting to watch. Without further ado, let's get started on the video right away. American Snipers This film is a biopic adapted from the book of the same name. The book was written by Chris Kyle, Scott McEwen, and Jim DeFelice. About a legendary sniper named Chris Kyle, who also co-authored the book. In this film, Chris Kyle is played by Bradley Cooper. Chris did not fight alongside his comrades. He fights from afar, but his sniper role is very important to his friends. It is unknown how many lives he saved on the battlefield. After four time on duty, Chris encounters a new battlefield that he cannot avoid. This film also speaks volumes about the mental state of those who participated in the war. Shooters Mark Wahlberg is probably an actor you often hear about playing in great action movies. This time, he plays Bob Lee Swagger, a retired sniper living in exile. His retirement must be interrupted by the arrival of an FBI member. Swagger is asked to return to the mission. There is an organization that is planning to kill the president and Swagger is asked to disband the organization. But it turned out to be a trap. The Archbishop of Ethiopia was shot and Swagger was blamed for the assassination. Can Swagger evade capture and find the real killer? Don't forget to watch the movie. Savior Lunch with wife and children ended in disaster. A bomb planted by a radical Islamist group has exploded in a restaurant, leaving Joshua, played by Dennis Quaid, and losing his wife and children. Joshua, the survivor, is furious and begins to wage war with his friends to destroy the bomber. Years later, Joshua, who changed his name to Guy, fought in the Bosnian War. To look for radical Islamic groups not only bothers people but also locals. In the midst of his mission in, he met a woman named Vera, who had been raped by radical Muslim soldiers. Along with Vera and his other friends, Guy wants to fulfill his mission. Jack Reacher If Tom Cruise acts, that should be enough to warrant it. And this time he plays a man named Jack Reacher. He is an ex-soldier who leads a mysterious life. His fate cannot be traced, but he appears alone after a murder case that leaves five people dead. At the crime scene, the fingerprints of a former sniper named James Barr were found. During the interrogation, he only said to bring Jack Reacher. After that, he went into a coma after being beaten by his fellow inmates. And it was in that Jack Reacher appeared. Leon, the professional. As the most feared assassin, Leon played by Gene Reno has his own way of killing his targets. But Leon would never want to kill women and children. Once, while on a mission, Leon saved a 12-year-old girl named Matilda from an attack that killed her entire family by a dirty cop. Matilda, who was being cared for by Leon, approached and considered Leon as her role model. He even wanted to follow in Leon's footsteps as an assassin while avenging the death of the entire Matilda family. At first, Leon was reluctant, but seeing Matilda's abilities, Leon eventually accepted Matilda as his student. Keep calm. Now. Jarhead. We often see the older brother telling me stories. He shared his experience with his younger brother who did not have much experience. The film starts from there, but in the context of war. An American sniper named Anthony Swafford, 
Swafford spent a lot of time with Troy. Troy is Swaff's senior and mentor. While awaiting orders to go to war, he told many stories to recall the perilous days of Operation Desert Storm during the war between Kuwait and Iraq. The war happened when they were in a difficult position because they had to confront themselves. Although it is a war movie, this movie emphasizes more on the psychological aspects of the characters. Fire. Fire. What the fuck frequency are you on? Battle for Sevastopol. Sevastopol is a city that was in the midst of a major war when Nazi Germany attacked the Soviet Union. Among the heroes who served in the war was Ludmilla played by Yulia Perezild. She was a student who had to drop out of school because she joined the Soviet army unit that attacked Nazi Germany. Unexpectedly, Ludmilla was very talented in shooting and even became the most targeted sniper by the enemy. No less than 309 enemies are recorded as having been crippled by Ludmilla. What's even more great, Ludmilla still wanted to be a public speaker by speaking out against Nazi Germany against everyone including the United States. Enemy at the gates. What if two snipers try to kill each other? Of course, it would be an interesting sight. The two won't go head to head like an MMA athlete. Both must be smart in their strategy as they come from the same world. Both are snipers. However, who are they? Allow me to introduce, this is Vasily, a Russian sniper who killed many Nazi soldiers during the Stalingrad war. His presence clearly threatened the German army. This is what prompted Major Koenig to order a German sniper to kill Vasily. Then there was the battle between two snipers. Phone Booth While a sniper is often portrayed as part of the military in action movies, this one is a bit different. The plot of the film is relatively simple, in fact the main focus of the story is just the public phone setting as the title suggests. However, this film presents a powerful and moving story. The story follows Stu, an aspiring orbital artist. Even so, he has many bad qualities including lying and cheating. Stu often called his mistress on the phone booth opposite the hotel. One day, after calls his girlfriend, he receives a terrorist phone call from a mysterious person. Stu cannot hang up or he will be shot by a sniper whose whereabouts are unknown. Roughly, why do snipers do this? Yeah, I got a fucking gold Rolex, motherfucker. You got five oh, seconds to get up stop fucking... Three. 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 Just say I... the word. Yes! Lone Survivor As the mastermind behind the deaths of more than 20 U.S. Navy members, Shah, the leader of the Taliban became a prime target for Marcus Luttrell, played by Mark Wahlberg, and his other friends U.S. Navy SEALs. They are ready to fight to finish the Shah and his people in the Taliban, in Afghanistan. Their decision to go to war was discovered by one of the goat herders. Instead, the well-intentioned letting go of the shepherd becomes the starting point of the problem. Shepard reported to the Shah and the Shah eventually kicked Marcus C.S. away. Fortunately, there were locals who wanted to protect Marcus C.S., who was outnumbered and wounded. Can they complete the mission? Well, those are the top 10 sniper movies that I can recommend. Don't forget to watch to feel the excitement and tension of the snipers. And don't forget to click like if you like this video, subscribe if you don't want to miss the next video and share if this video was helpful. See you in the next video.